Civil War mean to you? You know, it's a big game for the Rose Bowl, so uh, it's and it's got uh, Bregner rights on the line, so uh, definitely a big game. Um, hopefully, come out and take care of business. Yeah, but being from the state, what it, has it meant to you throughout the years? Uh, I never was really like a big uh, duck or a beaver growing up, but uh, I mean, obviously now we're big, big duck fans, and uh, my brother's big Am time, good, big time Oregon supporters, and they're probably the biggest fans I know. And as just far as the OSU defense, what challenges do you see them? Uh, Given you guys, well, they have a great defensive tackle inside Pay. Yeah. Um, the guys a stud, um, and they got good guys around him. So we just gotta, you know, come out and play with good technique, and we should we should do all right. And uh, other than that, offensively, uh, what has LaMichael James brought to this team this year? I mean, uh, how does he make your job easier, or do you make his job easier? No, no, he definitely makes our job easier. He's a you know elusive guy. We can you know miss blocks, and he's he's gonna put moves on guys. Uh, yeah, he's he's made us look good at a lot of times. And just the atmosphere, what are you expecting Thursday? Oh, it's going to be crazy. I mean, probably the biggest game in Civil War history. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be out of control. Thanks a lot, Bo. Good luck this, sir. The understatement of the week, you got a big game going. Yes, sir. Um, what's going through the team's mind this week? Well, it's just business as usual. I mean, uh, all the stipula I mean, we've been in big games before. All the stakes that's riding on this, it's just basically uh, butter on the bread. I mean, just we, we work every game for this moment right here to play against the, the, our rivals, in-state rivals, and to play for the Pac-10 Championship and the Rose Bowl. So basically, to come out and play our A game, and then we, we'll, we'll go away running with this one. I mean, we know they're going to play hard, but we feel like we, we can play with them. And what do you guys have to do to come out with the victory, so to speak? We got no turnovers. We got to limit our turnovers and play our, our game. We got to play Oregon football. And just an aside, uh, your teammate, LaMichael James, yeah. as far as the record is concerned, do you see him passing the quiz, so to speak, for that freshman record on Thursday? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, he's a big part of what we do. And uh, just to have the ball in his hands, he, he can do amazing things with it. So we're going to try to get him the ball. We're going to try to be balanced about it. So. He's definitely going to go at, at the record, but if he doesn't get the record and we get the victory, it's still, still uh, going to be good for us. Thanks a lot. Good luck this Thursday. Well, I guess it's a big game this week for you guys, to say the least. Yes, it is. A uh, huge game for us. It's uh, for the Rose Bowl. Everything's at stake. Uh, Dragon Rice for a year. We know they have a chip on their shoulder from last year, so you guys will see electricity come on Thursday. Now, what kind of a threat does that offense provide? I mean, what makes Canfield and the Rogers boys so good? Um, they're, they're, the whole offense, they're just efficient. Uh, their linemen are really well at blocking. Quiz is one of the best runners in the Pac-10, if not the nation. Um, James Rogers, the number one receiver in the Pac-10. So their overall offense is very consistent. Um, they can score anyone on the field, get in the Rogers brothers the ball anytime. So as a defense, we feel if we stop their heartbeat, which is the Quiz Brothers, I mean the uh, Rogers Brothers, then we can control their offense. And how do you sh shut those guys down? You can never really shut them down. You can only hope to contain them. So it's just reading our keys. Um, we feel much like against Cal, if back then, if Best didn't get across the line, he's not going to get any yards. So we're pretty much bringing that same mentality to the Beavers and just pretty much clogging up all these gaps so we'll make them bounce around the backfield and get the tackle for loss. And just how huge is it? Are you guys even thinking about what it will mean if you guys do win the game, or are you putting that aside until um, if and when it happens? I feel like it's always in the back of the head, in the back of our heads. Um, it can't, you can't really truly face something like this out, but you can tell by just coming out to practice that all the implications, everything like that, it goes out the window because we know we're practicing for one game against the Beavers. On that note, good luck and uh, give, give them heck Thursday. Okay, well, I guess mild understatement, big game this week. Yeah, big game. Uh, nothing at stake, but uh, <laughs> this is a big game. Uh, what does the Civil War mean to you? Uh, it just means two, two good, great schools, uh, a lot of tradition, a lot of history, a lot of bad blood. It's going to be a big game this year. Rose Bowl is on the line, so we're just looking to advance ourselves and play a good game. And uh, as far as the OSU offense, is this the most potent offense you've faced this season? Uh, describe potent. I mean, they're, they, they have different 
they have two good, really good players in uh, the Rodgers brothers, and they have a good quarterback. But potent, I mean, if it's potent if we let it. Stanford's not, you wouldn't think of them as a very potent offense, but uh, they got down the field on it. So uh, any, any offense can be potent if you let it. And as far as uh, Quiz Rogers, what does he do? What makes him so great? Uh, he has great balance. He's very strong. He knows how to read his blocks. He makes good decisions on whether or not to get upfield or try to uh, outrun someone. Uh, he's just he's just a good running back. And what is going to be the keys to stopping these guys? Uh, I think if we contain the two Rodgers brothers and make Sean, uh, Sean Canfield try to throw the ball to the other uh, players and make, have them make plays, and I think we'll have a, a lot better chance at winning. And just one final question. You've seen them in their own ways play. Do you see LaMichael James passing the quiz so so to speak, for that record on Thursday? Uh, I mean, how much does he need? Thinks just like uh, 50 yards or something? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the way he's been running this year, I think he's been getting 100 yards a game. So, I mean, I definitely see him. If we're going to win this game, I think that he'll have to get more than 50 yards, definitely. TJ, thank you and good luck. Thank you.